Hello, my name is Katie Groves, and this is part two in my series about exponentially fragmented and fractaline dissociative identity disorder of MK Ultra slaves. If you've not done so already, I suggest you watch the first part of this video, as this might not make much sense by itself. I left off talking about splitting factories, how I was put into internal dissociative structures to split my dissociative system exponentially for years on end. The best way to describe this would be someone who is internally shredding their consciousness nonstop, chopping their consciousness up into tiny little pieces continuously. When I go inside and I see parts experiencing this, I don't see as much of this anymore as I've done a lot of work to shut it down. But when I go inside, see parts experiencing this, I typically just hear screaming and see a very graphic, violent image of a child cutting themselves up into those small pieces. Torture, extreme torture was used to dissociate me to this degree. And a lot of hypnotic suggestion and programming tapes were used to help me create the mathematical structures in my mind that would enable me to split in this way. I shared in my last video that, um, to my knowledge, only children with extraordinarily high intelligence can do this. And it's specifically an aptitude for math and analytical thought that enables this. A child has to have incredible powers of visualization as well as a talent for mathematics. And the child also has to be educated and prepped young. And there also has to be a tremendous amount of conditioning um, during the child's earliest stages of development to prime them for this. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. I certainly don't want to give so much information that someone could try this at home, but I doubt you could, as it requires technology as well. So, high aptitude, high IQ. I scored 187 on the Stanford Binet LM intelligence quotient test when I was eight, so I fit into this category. And a lot of my talent was in mathematics, analytical thought, and I did have an extreme propensity for internal visualization. So, if you think this is all out of the realm of possibility, I assure you it's a rare capacity to have, but under certain circumstances, it is possible to induce this level of fragmentation in a child. I'm not sure, however, if it is possible to maintain it and successfully program a person for long-term subservience when they've been subjected to this type of programming. I was, to my knowledge, one of the more successful cases, if not the big successful case, of being able to split like this. I don't know the extent to which this has been done elsewhere, and I don't trust my abusers what they told me about it when I was a child. They certainly did things to try and make me feel special that I don't trust as an adult now. But, to my knowledge, this is an experimental condition. This was rather new, and there was quite a success for these people in the beginning. However, very quickly, my systems took on a life of their own. I never fully was under their control, as in I never fully lost touch with myself. In fact, they had to give me a tremendous amount of power in my mind control programming for me to split like this. I was also trained as a mind control programmer, so I was able to use some rather creative tools based on my knowledge of programming to subvert my total mind control and retain some consciousness that would enable me to break free as soon as I could. And so I was able to do that at 17, and then 21 now. 
So I'm very young and having done this, and I think part of that is because of the degree of multiplicity that I experienced. It is so unfathomably traumatizing to experience this kind of splitting. I have no way to explain it, what it feels like. And I pray that no one else can ever understand, but I doubt that I'm the only one. I know other children were experimented on for this. To my knowledge, I was the most successful case. But again, I don't know the extent to which this has been done elsewhere or even abroad in other countries. This was done to me in Central Texas. And I don't know a lot about its applications and uses elsewhere. So I am going to wrap this up and explain the last piece about the fractaline nature, as half of this diagnosis involves fractaline systems. What is a fractal? I don't have a mathematical definition in front of me. I will do my best. You're a mathematician and I get it wrong, I'm sorry. But to my understanding, a fractal is a geometric structure that is a sequence of self-replication. So in geometry, a fractal is a geometric pattern that when you zoom in on it, you will find that the pattern is the same. The more you zoom in, you will find the same pattern repeated over and over again. It's a trippy thing. It's something people sometimes see in LSD trips. It's a rather psychedelic pattern, and it is naturally occurring in nature. And the psychedelic nature of it here is important because the fractal nature of it, of this disorder, this condition, involves the internal imagery. So the exponential fragmentation, right, that is what's actually happening to the dissociative parts. And I talked about splitting factories and extreme violent imagery that I see inside associated with the splitting. But the fractal imagery is also another thing I see inside, where parts will split, and they'll split in a spiral. They'll spiral around and around, going infinitely in a loop, where the self-replication never stops. And in this way, the splitting mirror is a fractal. And I think I got a little tripped up here when I'm talking about it. It's still dissociative for me to speak about triggering. But the psychedelic nature is important because um, I was dosed with LSD in order to induce this uh, visualization to assist in the programming. I was put into trance, I was put on acid, and I was um, put in these virtual reality type simulations where I would see this tunnel, this spiral of infinite self-replication of parts of me spawning out from fractal structures. And I have parts of me that were put in trance that would just indefinitely spiral and trip out. And while they did so unbeknownst to them, they were being fragmented. So it was a hypnotic experience. And much like you may see in the uh, old MK Ultra tapes with the black and white spiral, right? Spirals can be used to hypnotize. So this was an agent in the hypnotic process. And the diagnosis that I recall hearing and being given was exponentially fragmented and fractally in DID. So I think that the fractal structures may have more of a part than I'm aware of to this point. I'm still integrating and still gaining knowledge. I'd also like to note that all of this was meant for me to function like a supercomputer. And knowledge of computer science was required to induce this type of dissociation. So there is more to this than I'm saying at this point. But this is the general gist of it that I know of right now. And I may post future videos in which I talk more about the mechanical structure of this. But I am going to post a video next about how to heal from this, how I have learned to heal from this, I'll say. So hopefully this can shed some light to anyone who's experienced this on how they may put themselves back together. Thanks. <laughs>